Und damit ein herzliches Willkommen und hallo zu einem Bad. Let's play Fake Grand Order. Ich bin das Samus Muffix und äh, wir sind hier inzwischen schon in der vierten Area gelandet. Ihr seht, der Max hat hier schon ein Großteil des Feldes hier aufgedeckt. Oder ja, tausendmal, also wir sollten die nächsten paar Story Quests safe sein. Wir sind, äh, wie gesagt, hier dank der Hilfe von Lambda und unseren äh, anderen Verbündeten hier weiter vorangedrückt. In der Hoffnung, dass wir eine Möglichkeit finden, hier rauszukommen. Auf der anderen Seite immer noch natürlich noch herauszufinden, was hinter Goch hier wirklich steckt. Ach, nehmen wir Hau Hau. Hau, na. Tut mir leid, ich kann gerade hau hau nicht nehmen. Ich brauche eine kleine Castoria, denn dann können wir ein bisschen loopen. So, genau, denn ein bisschen Chiara loopen ist immer gut. Also, starten wir mit dem nächsten Gebiet. Uh, unsere Armee wird immer größer als Sims to Servants und nun sind wir im Great Void uh, Battle, im Dungeons Scramble. Agfree, Rolling Cry from the Calmest Region. Denn hier ist es deutlich gefährlicher als in anderen Eras. Viel mehr Gegner warten hier und auch viel größer, ne? This is great. We've got our work cut for us, huh? Oh, hey, Marines. Hi, Master. Nice to see you out on patrol. What's that you've got there? Oh, this. This young girl gave it to... Shh. Master, not supposed to know about that yet. All right. Never mind. I thought young girl was on the bridge. Hey, Master, how's the patrol going? Hmm? Ah, I know what you're thinking. You're wondering why I'm out here and not on the bridge, right? Well, I'm not sacking off. If that's what you're thinking, there's actually two of me right now. What are you talking about? Suddenly speaking, Moshota. Well, even though my divinity skill includes authority over divine spirits, that doesn't mean I can literally or miraculously manifest a divine spirit. In fact, usually my divinity would expand beyond what I could contain as a single servant and cause my spirit origin to completely melt down if I tried to make another full-fledged copy of myself. But then, I surprised myself by discovering I can cool my excess divinity by casting it out into the void sea, which lets me use it in ways I'd normally never be able to even I try. So, thanks to that, the professor teaching me how to use a memory potion And some of Lady Goddess Rune Magecraft. I finally managed to clone myself. Aha. Die hat, die hat manchmal, wenn sie so ehren spricht, hat sie so, so einen ganz düsteren Gesichtsausdruck. Da muss ich mir mal Angst machen. I call it, you use white space, only extra dimensional secret ultra cloning technique. <lacht> Toller Name. So, why did you need to clone yourself in the first place? Mm, well, um, to tell the truth, the workshop team was kind enough to help me with a selfish personal request. I figured since I only need my sense of hearing to perform my wrecking duties, maybe I could let my true self handle that and leave my clone free to pursue other things. I mean, the sonar, Reed, Betty, and me have been <laughs> holed up on the bridge ever since we got to Xavier, right? That sort of thing can't be good for your mental health. Plus, having a, another one of me around uh, would solve a lot of problems when it comes to battle, wrecking, or even just talking, breaks, taking breaks. Fortunately, I was able to clone Betty too, so it wasn't completely selfish. She loved the idea of having another one of her around. She was very excited about being able to expand her scanning range and sleeping more when one of her wasn't on radar duty. Um, so, uh, that doesn't like her, but what uh, was this Marines? Ah, you already found out about that. Well, I've been uh, thinking about uh, what I could do for you and everyone else here to thank you for being so kind to me. And I came up with the idea of using extra food resources to um, make really strong good luck doll charms. Anyway, since the cat's out the back now, I just have to steal myself. Would you like one too, Master? Thanks. Oh, <laughs> das Gesicht, man. <laughs> uh. It uh, kind of looks like a flag of Sicily, or maybe the Isle of Man. I know, it's creepy, right? I was so focused in imbusing them with good luck that they somehow ended up looking like, well, dead. <laughs> Still, creepy or not, I'm pretty proud of how well it came out. And they do say the uh, devil is in the title, so... Huh? Master, it look like the... Me and the bitch just picked up more enemy signals. Is this uh, what is meant by speak of the devil? Go 
Grandmaster! They're calling for the officer. Don't worry, I can fight off if I have to. Also, Leute, das ist, das ist, Leute, das ist wie Scatcher. Erst ist es ein Yang und dann ist es zwei Yang und der Maxi ist glücklich. <lacht> so in etwa äh, lief das. So, geil. Dann packen wir wieder ein bisschen Ludic hier aus. Ey, Leute, ich, ich sag's ja immer öfter, dass man, also, natürlich, äh, es ist zwar eigentlich das Yang-Event, aber ich muss halt immer wieder Kiara loben, Mann. Also, ganz ernsthaft, was die, also, einfach wie krass gut die ist, Mann. Wie mega gut die ist, Mann. Also, ich meine, klar, jetzt muss erstmal Yang gegradet werden. Dann äh, wird wahrscheinlich Roma gegradet. Äh, nee, Roma nicht. Roma haben wir schon. Dann muss Nero hin und wieder mal einen Gral natürlich bekommen. Was haben wir noch? Ähm, dann haben wir äh, natürlich nächstes Jahr... Äh, Vlad habe ich vergessen. Ähm, dann haben wir natürlich nächstes Jahr dann noch Witch. Aber ich glaube... Ich, okay, ich muss nicht wir sollen sich nicht mal die Splitter Grail Casting rein tun, Mann. Und dann noch vielleicht vier MP Levels so ganz schnell wohl. Nein, aber wie gesagt, das ist so mega gut. Es macht, macht auch Farben mit ihrem mega Spaß. Und ich liebe halt ihre Animationen, Mann, weil die halt so irgendwie seltsam sind. Oh Leute, sie hat den Punish Modo. Oder es ist eigentlich es ist echt schwer, weil ihr zweite und dritte Set ist gut. Ihr zweite Ascension ist halt so lustig, Mann, weil sie da halt so komplett einfach einen Dachschaden hat. Aber die dritte ist eigentlich die Schuhe. Damage Rise ist vielleicht nicht das Beste, aber deswegen brauchen wir noch mehr MP-Levels. Oder Grace. So. Band mal, oder? Easy Gara Damage Ban. So, schön alle Gegner wieder weggelootet, Mann. Da geht auch mal ein bisschen Bond Level da. Und äh, unser guter Castorio ist übrigens bald Bond 10, Mann. Das ist schon krass, wenn ich überlegt. <lacht> Sie, wie lange habt ihr? Drei Monate? Naja. Ah, ja. Geht schon. Ja. I'm glad this was just a regular enemy attack. We've been seeing more of that lately, though. I say I can't even remember how many times they've attacked us since we got here. Really? It doesn't seem like it's been that many to me. That's because Betty Sorigami and my ladies in waiting have been taking care of the low level threats on their own. Ladies in waiting? That's right. They're the attendants who used to serve at uh, my Shinjiu, um, my lunar mansion in a palace. They are flame spirits, but they are also known as fire vampires. They're surprisingly cute, but they do have the tendency to burn my origami whenever they play together. Sorry about that, Betty, and I'm sorry to bother you while you were on break, Master. Say hi to the other me for me. Sie wird immer besser, man. Master. It is I, your shadow, perfect. I have a short complaint, I mean, report I would like to make. Report, complain? I am happy to listen either way. How very open minded of you, Master. But really, this is uh, no. Of no great importance. I only wish to say that it was um, difficult enough keeping an eye on everyone on the ship even before Lady Osaka and Lady Yelang Yofei cloned themselves. Still, as long as I'm around, I will not let a clown or two distract me from my duties. In the meantime, as is expected, there continues to be no sign of anything in this. Uh, I mean, suspicious about the ship. Fancrafter, keep up the good work. Now I see, so me and Amuto no Raiko has been spying on us. I knew something was off. Lambda! Uh-uh. <laughs> this good, that's good, I just I wasn't hiding, I just happened by. Anyway, I was uh, thinking about the Colossus enemy. You know, the one with the A-Rank Noble Phantasm. What do you make of it? What? I say I wasn't going to fight, and that's not going to change unless absolutely necessary. I 
worried it out that Sir Strong has a mythological demonic beast of Raiko and the others should not be able to handle it. Miss Hart, it looks like you understand what the true threat is here. We shouldn't be worried about what's out there. We need to worry about what's in here. That's why I'm glad to know you've got someone keeping an eye on us. Now that I know you've got a coward, I can focus on helping everyone else. It's just me, or do you seem a lot uh, less guarded than everyone else? I'm pretty sure you know this about me, but I couldn't care less what happens to humanity. Bibi might be helping you guys out, or at least claim she's helping, but it doesn't obligate it to the Sakura 5 to do the same. As far as we are concerned, humanity is none of our business. I sure don't care about uh, saving the world. Get it yet? I've been helping you out because I feel like it, and because circumstances demanded it. This is no different. I didn't ask you to be summoned, so now that I'm here, I consider seeing your pathetic face a bare minimum of compensation. I make this simple, no matter how dangerous the being behind this incident might be, or how much of a threat they might pose to humanity. You're the one who has something to do about them. Maxi, not me. Just keep that in mind. And while I'm giving out advice, don't be too quick to trust anyone else, either. Just the fact that Bibi decided to help you means whatever this is, it's seriously bad news. This is schon wieder. Also auf gut Deutsch, goch, liebe Leute. Ah, oh, Master. What's up, Marine? Um, I'm good, thanks. Oh, I must forget, thank you so much, Master. For what? I'm the marine that almost got sucked out into void space when I collided with the reef at the start of this all this. I'd probably have died out there if you hadn't rescued me. Sure, I could always come back if the captain made me again, but it was still super scary at the time. Anyway, I just wanted to say how much I appreciate you saving me back there. Thanks again, master. Well, in that case, you're very welcome. Huh? Isn't that all? Miss Yanko Fay gave it to me. She gave you one too, right, Master? It's a little creepy, sure, but it's so well made I've been carrying it around with me everywhere. I think yours is a little different from mine. You noticed, eh? Yeah, I drew those little swirls on the cheeks than myself. I thought it'd be uh, cuter that way. Besides, it's more fun having one that's uh, not exactly like everyone else, you know? Actually, I think I like having something that's like the everyone else. Really? I mean, what block prints and little girls are great and all, but don't you ever feel like drawing your own stuff? Anyway, me and my doll here ought to get back to work if we're gonna keep helping you out, Master. Thanks, Marine. Salutieren! Trotzdem, um, das, was Mel sagt, äh, wird äh, schließt natürlich sehr, sehr auf Gochi. Und die Chance ist natürlich sehr, sehr hoch, dass Koch irgendwas äh, mit diesen Vermutungen zu tun hat. Und möglicherweise auch mit diesem ganzen Vorfall hier. Denn sie weiß ja ebenfalls immer noch nicht, wer sie eigentlich ist. So, okay, wir dürfen nur Yang nehmen. Das sollte jetzt auch kein Problem sein. Ich werde aber nicht diese Yang nehmen, liebe Leute. Double Yang. Ah, oh, Double Yang hört sich natürlich auch sehr gut an. Ich würde sagen, wir nehmen einfach mal hier ganz kurz meine Yang. Dazu noch eine kleine süße Castoria, wenn wir eine finden. Und C raus. Bam. Bum. Zack. Oh, noch 9 Millionen Erfahrungspunkte. Ich bemühe mich darüber, dass ich die Erde, äh, Erde nehme, aber es ist so schwer. Naja. So, dann starten wir direkt äh, weiter ins nächste Kapitel. Ist halt schön, wenn der Maximal davor schon die Punkte gesammelt haben, dass wir weitermachen können. Und äh, nun sind wir schon in vier von äh, sechs hier. Ich glaube, sechs oder so ist das Kapitel hat das Spiel. Also haben wir noch einiges vor uns, liebe Leute. Well, it's finally happening. Yeah, we're still not in combat range of the target, but it's coming straight to us. It's not even boring to stay silent anymore. Come to the room here. I'm putting the analysis of the enemy ship. I might based on the uh, wrecking team startup on the monitor now. So this is the massive enemy ship. Has it sent on any pings yet? 
No, not yet. Well, we keep our eyes, ears peeled. Keep your ears peeled. Uh, once it uh, does, it uh, won't be here long before it unleashes its an incredible powerful beam. Edru, back us off slowly. Keep our nose pointed at the enemy ships, Alpha. And above all, make sure you do it silently. Roger, I'm gonna keep my transmission to a minimum. For a while too. To play it safe. Engineer out. Hopefully it'll leave without even noticing us. If it doesn't, our only option is to flee without while bombarding it with torpedoes. So that my calculations say that uh, even with our current powered up torpedoes, it would take at least uh, 13 to sink that thing. And we can't run it with the Nazis, no more phantasm. That's in nearly 100% sure that it'd just be suicide. Meph is a cruel and unforgiving beast. I see. I it won't be easy to fire 13 torpedoes in quicker or case succession, but I'll do it if I must. Okay, in the meantime, we keep putting distance between us and the enemy ship to avoid the worst case scenario. Anything to add, Acting Commander? Down the home! Alright then, good luck out there, everyone. I can't hear anything anymore. I think we're okay. I think so too. It might have taken us an hour, but we've just about uh, receded to the edge of this area. Yeah, it looks like we're in the clear. Though I almost get the feeling it let us get away. Way to go, everyone. Congratulations, acting commanding captain. Still, I do have to wonder if we are going to have to fight that enormous enemy ship at some point to go on the next area. Yeah, we probably will. Given its size, its strength, its sharp eyes, and its sheer speed, it's definitely going to be the toughest challenge we've faced so far. No, so it's crucial we come up with a strategy and make sure we are ready. We can't afford to jump the gun on this. Now what uh, could we do? Maybe we could take it out with a hugely souped up torpedo, or perhaps uh, read its behavioral patterns, and a plan a surprise attack, or... I'm Nemo, I mean Captain and Master. I'm sorry, but could I say something? What is it, Goffy? Well... Oh, sorry, but I just picked up a several pinks behind us. A group of my enemies is headed our way. Oh, well. Uh oh. I see two, Aldo. Uh, that's uh, not smoke room. It's a debacking one. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll come back later. Yes, do that. Right now, we are going t uh, from the frying pan straight into the fire. We need to take care of these enemies. Hang in there, Raiko. I send reinforcements as soon as possible. Understood. Lambalas, I'm sorry to do this, but we need to borrow your familiars again. By all means, just know that if you're going to use my levitons, I won't tolerate failure. Dali noted. Also, tschüss, die Pinguine! <lacht> wir werden sie mit, ihr, mit, unserer Süßheit, mit ihrer Süßheit werden wir sie hoffentlich äh, besiegen. Ansonsten sehe ich nicht, wie sch äh, schlecht wird. Na gut, liebe Leute. Das soll jetzt aber auch nicht allzu schwer werden, denn es ist ein Börsecker. Und auch wenn er 600.000 Leben hat, ist es ehrlich gesagt ziemlich wenig, wenn man sich überlegt, dass wir hier ein Gefällt haben. Endlich einen Foreigner, weil es hat ja lange genug gedauert, dass wir einen äh, Foreigner haben. Und das bedeutet Big MP Damage. Richtig Big MP Damage. Bam! Und wir haben Class Event. Das ist so nice, man. Ach, Leute. Es ist so wunderbar, man. Endlich ein Formel zu haben, Es ist so derbe wunderbar. Jetzt können wir alle gerne wieder den Expersacker. Nie wieder. Nie wieder, wenn ich mit euch spielen, Mann. So. So gehört sich das, Mann. Ein Insta-Kill, bam, weg. Und nie wieder dieses, oh ja, sie machen doch einen Schaden, bla bla bla. Das ist bei nur noch ein Support-Forerunner. 
Make sure you all have nurse take a, a, a look out at you, okay? I'm glad I made it back safe and sound again. Still, I hope that's not uh, going to be a ma typical enemy from now on, especially since they are st still too small for our torpedoes. Also, ich würde mir das wünschen, wenn das Standard Gegner wären. Ähm, Captain, Master. Did you have any uh, idea you, um, did you have an idea you wanted to tell us? Uh, it's no big deal really, but... What if for the giant enemy, <laughs> we try close range combat again? Are you actually saying we should attack the Colossus enemy ship directly? Yes. But not just that. The idea of to the ship away, had to get up close and finish it off with torpedoes. Since the ship is so uh, big, uh, maybe it can defend against attacks from point blank range. Plus, now that Lady Lambertus is here, we should be able to approach it very quietly. If we attack it with a big enough weapon, <laughs> we might be able to damage it surprisingly easy. Hey, yeah. If we can get in close and destroy its weaponry, or somehow strip it off armor, I think this could work. Ah, uh, Lady Ozakimi, yes, that's right. With a big enough weapon, it should be fairly easy to go toe to toe, or maybe fin to fin, with the big ship. <laughs> wow, you're super amazing, uh, Professor Van Gogh. I had no idea you were such a smart strategist on top of being a genius painter. I have a... Uh, I've been an anxious to talk to you, Patina, but as a bit of a deadline out myself, I super respect you. <laughs> You're too kind, I really appreciate you saving me too, so... Yes, hi, computer room here. Sorry to butt in, but I overheat the whole thing. It is a fascinating idea from a battle tactic, but there's still one thing we need uh, before we could actually do it. A super aggressive summon with one hell of a close range of fantasy and the ability to use it in hand-to-hand -hand combat. If we can get someone like that from the next summoning then, hmm, yeah, I think it's a plan we were considering. So between that and all the repairs and improvements we are still making to the ship, I think we uh, could stand to collect some more resources. Then let's get to work. Protecting Commander, let's go back to the bridge and figure out our plan to acquire more resources. Me? A strategist? <laughs> no, you're wrong. It's not like that at all. I'm just a pretty good at, at trapping people. Aha. Uh -huh. My la Lambda malt uns. Äh, malt uns. Ähm, hat uns ja hier schon gewarnt, liebe Leute. Und genauso geht es jetzt hier weiter. Also, wir sacken den Sack kurz raus. Weil, so oder so, mit Goch stimmt etwas nicht. Und ich denke, das sollte jetzt hier nochmal deutlich gemacht werden. Oh, Leute, jetzt 75.000 hier schon. Das ist jetzt, glaube ich, um 7.000, 8.000 Punkte nach oben gesprungen. Aber wir haben immer noch genug Punkte. Schauen wir mal, was sich hinter dem nächsten äh, furchtbaren Punkt hier verbirgt. Hoffentlich nichts allzu Schlimmes. Dann, liebe Leute, ich... Ich finde es übrigens gerade, finde ich, ist das Pacing ein bisschen schön. Wir dürfen jetzt unsere eigene Crew nehmen äh, an Kämpfern. Wir, die, äh, wir haben immer einen Kampf, dann haben wir Cutscenes, so wie sie es halt gehört eigentlich. Finally got enough resources for another summon. Alright. This next summon needs to be... Summon with a huge close range noble phantasm. Which probably means they're going to be a berserker, huh? Ich hätte super Ryan. <lacht> Der boxt auch die Gänge weg. Dann... I don't care for Berserkers Camping. I think they're pretty cute myself. I think, between their brute strength and their inability to communicate, I think it's sensible to be a guard, guard around them. Don't worry, it'll be okay. Let's do this. Ah, friend! Klar, es muss ja wieder ein Swimsuit Servant sein. Okay. Um, phew. This uh, one's not too mad as far as the berserker go. Huh, I see. Still a maze, huh? It's going to take a lot of work to turn that into a weapon capable of destroying the ship's armor. <laughs> yes, the star, star friend. I need more to Can I be hot? Oh, that's right. 
once again. Your summon trust. The servant we need, Senpai. Skak, Skadi. Are you there? Can I be all? <laughs> of course, here, Frankenstein. Wear the swimsuit and be as hot as you like. Huh, I'm not hot, but I bring the heat. Huh, my pretty little bride can skew a dead whale. Wow, that's uh, a big honking blade. It does uh, look like the would be perfect for piercing the ship's armor and damaging its interior. Although, no matter how you slice it, that weapon can't have been designed with that at any thought of portability, right? <laughs> the scientists have made that must have been some kind of idiot servant. I'd love to meet him sometime. In some ways, they were definitely one of humanity's finest minds. <laughs> Don't know these peoples. Who are you? Hi there, I'm Yinga Fei, but you can call me Yu Yu if you like. Oh wow, friend, you're a lot taller when you, you stand up straight, aren't you? Uh -huh. You're tiny and Chinese, tiny, tiny, so cute. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're the cute one here, friend. Nice to meet you too. Mm. And you? Uh, oh, my God. My God. Huh? <laughs> Ha 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 ha. Good one. I think I like you. Are you a monster too? Uh, good to see you uh, making new friends. Want to hang out? Uh, would you mind modeling for me? <laughs> I think I could make a great painting of you. You remind me of a sunflower. Okay, let's go. Uh, we wollten ein Wal besiegen. Okay. Do you think there's something about Professor Van Gogh's identity that needs to be hidden? Okay, Betty, I think that's our cue to get out of here and head to the cafeteria. Sifu's Guardia said she managed to recreate the literally flavored ice cream bars. So, let's go see how they came out. Ah! I just said something I shouldn't have, didn't I? Martin, please don't get rid of me! Sorry, Gong. Because Frozen does like a band vest. Don't worry about it, Betty. Okay, Kami, that was horrible. I can't imagine any more horrible torture than hearing your own clones say something stupid while literally standing straight next to you. Alright, this may not make up for it, but incoming. I'm picking up any more hostiles he added our way on my radar, and it looks like more of those mitzvah skies. Alright, I was so caught up in your conversation that I didn't notice. They're coming up in 213, and they're pinging the heck out of us too. Huh, hang on. Wouldn't friend be perfect for this? Uh, here, I brought friend with me. After she lied down, she wouldn't move for a millimeter, so I had to put her on a trolley. Uh, because I'm a uh, goch better, right? So tired, too much effort. Someone cranked the AC. I'm sorry to interrupt your heart webbing your comedy routine, but we really need your help right now. Vielleicht war es doch nicht der beste Servant, den wir hätten dürfen können. Aber wir dürfen eine Sache nicht vergessen. Da sie nun da ist, ist Papa so stolz auf uns. Papa sei so froh, dass sein kleines Mädchen endlich Erfolg hat. Denn Papa... War der beste Papa. Okay, ähm... Dann machen wir... Also mal geht Cast Action. Why, why not, Leute? Wir brauchen nur irgendeine AV einheit So, Kara raus und zack. Normalerweise hätte ich das jetzt Bikara gemacht, aber Leute, wir spielen eh nur Bikara. Und hier kommen wir mal gut. Äh, Gil Katz haben wir äh, einmal raushauen lassen, Mann. Der Game Peace Bam kann nämlich auch eher, hoffe ich. Hoffe ich zumindest. So, so äh, langsam äh, habe ich so das Gefühl, wir äh, kommen auf einen guten Grund, weil in die letzte Zeit, äh, ja, mehr Verbündete, wir schaffen es hier, größere Gegner zu bezwingen. Könnt was werden, liebe Leute, könnt. Oh, jetzt erstmal fett Gil Cast Action. Ich muss ja sagen, ich nehme ihn immer hier, ähm, weil es gibt immer noch in diesen Chance-Fights gibt es immer die Gegner, die sich tarnen und man muss immer erst einmal draufhauen. Und dann setze ich, setz ich immer erst den Cast SMP rein, weil das macht ja auch ein schönes Defense down. Und dann haue ich Summer Care hinterher. Ganz in der Kombi. Da. Tat weh. Jo, passt. 
多ければ多いほど良い命と引き換えに学んだようだな So, was, diese kleinen stachligen Dinger sehen übrigens nicht so gut aus. Die will ich ja eh nicht immer farben, Mann. Das tut weh, wenn ich die in der Hosentasche trage. Ah, wir wollen, wir bitte, Event. Das war's gut, Fan. Äh, ne. No, no, there's still plenty left to go. <lacht> ah, sleepy, use too much electricity. Well, well then. Why not come to my workshop and take a long, nice nap? I have a good deal of work to do on your noble phantasm anyway. Can I come to? <laughs> I didn't finish my sketch yet, so... Of course. Yeah, I'm always happy to surround by my beloved children. I don't think we can tiptoe around it much longer. When you do think... Uh, we, uh, what, when do you think we should bring it up, Master? I'm still hoping she figured out herself. Well, it's true, of course, but... Hey, you, you. Since there's obviously talking about something that's meant to be secret, it would be terrible if you were to interrupt and join them. You sure live up to your name, don't you, Betty? I think it would be best if we left this matter up to them. Besides, as the two people in charge of the ship, they seem to be best equipped for to do so. I couldn't have said a better acting, Vice Commander. The best way we can help now is uh, doing our jobs. Then you might want to quit yapping and get your head back in the game, you, you. Yeah, that little guy around the 135. Not anymore, you don't. Ah, oh man. Now you're beating my score again. Ja, mein, wie wisst ihr, flammende Fische haben hier immer noch einen kleinen Nachteil. Na gut, liebe Leute. Dann würde ich sagen, äh, sehen wir uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Wir sacken jetzt hier noch schön den Kurzen. Und dann geht es beim nächsten Mal weiter mit dem Eventual Scramble Event. Und vielleicht stoßen wir dann sogar schon in die vierte Ebene vor. Zumindest bis zum nächsten Mal. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen.